Hello everyone, let's take a look today at the Sonata Allegro form in classical music. Uh, we're going to look specifically at uh, Anna Kleine Nachtmusik by Mozart. And he wrote this piece in the year 1787. And uh, the genre is, it's a serenade. And it's a multi-movement uh, piece. So we're going to look at movement one. And the form for movement one is the Sonata Allegro form. Now, as we listen to it, let's keep in mind that the Sonata Allegro form is very much a storytelling form. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, the piece begins with introducing themes, much in the same way that a play or a musical or a drama or a film would present characters. Now, uh, we see this uh, throughout, uh, for example, if, you were, if you're familiar with the film Star Wars, a very popular film, it's been around for decades, um, there, is, there are musical ideas or motifs that are associated with characters. So you have Darth Vader and you have the music that's associated with him, Luke Skywalker and so on and so forth. So uh, as we listen to this piece, uh, I, I want to, in this video, present how each theme that's presented is like a character. It's a musical character. Now, the great thing about it is that uh, this piece is not associated with any particular story. So uh, you can create your own stories as you listen to it, okay? So the Sonata Allegro form is about presenting themes, all right? So the beginning part will present uh, themes. You'll have the first theme, uh, you'll have a second theme, and then what you'll hear is in different places in the form, uh, transitions, okay? So you'll hear the music moving to uh, the next theme that will be presented or moving to uh, which is the other part of Sonata, Sonata Allegro form, um, the different sections of the story that's being told, okay? So you have the themes that are being introduced, and then you have different sections that are the story itself that are moving forward, okay? Let's talk about the sections of Sonata Allegro form, okay? So first of all, uh, the, the part where themes are introduced, that is known as the exposition, Okay, so that's presenting the themes or the characters. And then you move into the development section. So just like a story will develop, the storyline will develop, the characters will develop in the same way you'll hear that in Sonata Allegro form. Then you'll have at the end of it, uh, the recapitulation, or in other words, the recap, the recalling of the themes in the exposition, okay? So uh, once you have that in place, then it will move towards the coda or the ending of the story it resolves. Okay. Sonata Allegro form, the exposition presents the themes. You may have two, you may have more, okay? And then it moves into the development section, and then you have a recapitulation of the exposition and then you'll have the coda, and that will uh, close out. Here we go. <laughs> All right, now let me pause it right there, okay? At the very beginning, you have this very upbeat, uh, vibrant, it's in a major key, it's, it's, it's uh, confident, it's, it's joyful, okay? So this is really the first theme that's being presented right away. Uh, Mozart presents uh, the first theme. There's no question about it. Picture in your mind whatever character you see coming onto the stage or into the scene. Uh, this is their theme, okay? So let me back it up to the beginning again and we'll continue from there, okay? First theme. <laughs> Thank you. 
so now I'm gonna pause it there, all right? That first theme develops a little bit, okay? But it's not the development section, it's just, and again, imagining that first character that comes into the scene, that the music is bum, 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 and they are there, they show up. Now they're doing something, right? Uh, they're, they're scanning whatever the scene is, they're moving around, they're, they're doing something. So uh, it's never just to present Mozart or any comp, uh, composer is not just presenting themes, but they are providing some kind of action, okay? And then it moves into this, and this is the transition section to the next theme that will be pre presented. And uh, what really keys in that transition is are these rapid uh, 16th notes, these fast, uh, quick moving rhythms in the strings uh, that tell you now, okay, now we're moving somewhere and we're anticipating another character coming onto the scene, okay? So I would like to go back and start from uh, the beginning and point out where that transition happens and then we'll move right into the second theme and I'll go ahead and cue that that's the second theme, okay? So again. <laughs> Now this is the transition. might even be a third theme at this point. Now at that point, question, does it sound familiar? Have you heard that again? Just those last few seconds we just heard at the end there. Uh, you're correct if you recognize that uh, the piece repeats, okay? So this is typical of Sonata Allegro form is that that first section, the exposition, is oftentimes repeated. So we heard here theme one, transition, theme two, and then even a third theme that happened there, right? Uh, some authors refer to that as a closing theme. And then once that closes out, the entire section is repeated again. So that was approximately a minute and a half of music. So you can anticipate that that minute and a half of music will be played pretty much the same way, okay? Now, this was a way for composers to understand the audience and say, listen, literally, if you didn't get what I'm trying to say here, I'm saying it again so that you really hear this beginning part. So uh, that shows the importance of the exposition Okay, so now let's take a look at the development section. And the great thing about the development section, this is the part of the story that, uh, in a sense, anything can happen.
so in that development, right, we heard, now, I would ask you, right, uh, what did you hear? Was there anything reminiscent of what you heard in the exposition, in the development? Uh, so, yes, uh, composers do that. They take ideas that they've already introduced, and when they develop, they, it's, you know, music is something where you're not making anything out of nothing. You're making it out of bits and pieces of music that already exist. And in this case, already exist in the music. But you can move those melodic ideas, those rhythmic ideas into different tonal centers, into uh, something that seems to be like, oh, that's different, right? It's moving into another key. Right? It's moving into a different kind of, maybe a little bit more of a minor mode feel rather than a major mode feel. And then you also hear how uh, there's sort of this call and response, this question and answer right in the music. Uh, so go back and listen to that development section and you almost hear this conversation happening uh, between uh, these melodic ideas, okay? And then, before I stopped it, uh, you probably recognized that uh, it sounded like we went back to the exposition. So that, that was the beginning of the recapitulation, the recap, okay? So let's listen to the end of, from that point to the end. Uh, so I'll back it up a little bit to the end of the development, going into the recap, and then uh, I'll cue in when the coda happens or the conclusion. So listen for that. Recap to the end. Okay. So we're ending the development here. Thank you. 